This one's gonna be real short and real sweet and real quick. And I'm gonna talk about torque converter spacing, how to do it properly and why it's important. So here we go. Converter spacing. This is one of those things that people mess up all the time too and they get confused on what they're doing. And so if the torque converter spacing is not correct, then you will possibly damage the front pump of the transmission or knock the thrust bearing out of the motor. Um, it can do one or both and it can, I mean, it's, it's just problematic. So this one, we had to modify some stuff. Uh, we had to, this one, the, the input shaft was actually bottoming out inside the torque converter. Uh, we didn't catch it, we couldn't see it. I mean, it had uh, fluid in it. But when we took the torque converter to Lenny, at Ultimate uh, Converter Concepts, took it apart, drained all the fluid out of it, and was like, you can see the witness marks from where it was hitting. The input shaft was bobbing out. So what we did is we uh, cut about 180 thousandths off of it. He did shave a little bit off the pads. And so we just got it all back installed. And you can see we got we got a pretty thin mid plate. It's not huge, but um, this thing, we just got it all bolted together. And so what you do when you're checking uh, torque converter clearance, a lot of people just get really confused on, on what the purpose of the gap is. So the torque converter, you don't want it to just bottom out. If you, if you put this thing in there and there is no gap in between the converter and the flex plate, then that's a problem. So the, the distance, this gap is what you want to measure and what needs to be looked at. So it's this gap right here between the pad and the converter. So you have to measure it. And so this one, the converter is pushed all the way in. And you can see in this case, it will slide all the way out. Now, if you pull it all the way forward, and you know, there's a, there's a, a, a hub, a pilot bushing on the snout of the converter, and it goes into the back of the crankcase or the back of the crankshaft. And in this case, uh, there is an adapter back there. And so with that adapter, it's a small block forward to a power glide to a Chevrolet converter. So if I push this thing in and then it stopped like right there, then that's the, the what is bottoming out. It's bottoming out in the bottom of the, the crankshaft and that's a problem. So, I mean, but it depends on how much clearance you have. If you push it all the way back and you've got a couple hundred thousandths there and then you pull it out you measure the distance to where it stops at, then you might be okay, but usually it's problematic. So in this case right now, so with everything uh, cut the way it is, what you do is you get your filler gauges and you slide them in between. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure in between the converter and the flex plate with my filler gauges. Now there is a lip right here, so you gotta be careful. You gotta get the, the staggered, the ones that are angled and make sure you go in from the side so that it's not angled. And so right there, you can see that goes in and it stays and it's a pretty, it's a pretty snug fit and that's about where you want it. Um, but it goes in there pretty smooth and you wanna check several, several of the, the lugs. And this is one of the six lug ones. So we're just checking it. Okay, it goes in, no problem. So all that is perfect. So now all you gotta do is, so this is the gap that we have right now. So it's pushed all the way into the transmission, it's all the way into the torque, uh, into the transmission, into the front pump, as far as it'll go. And this is the torque converter clearance that we have. So all we gotta do is we're gonna go measure and see what our distance is. Okay, so we got our filler gauges. This is the ones that went in there and I measured it. And when you squeeze it in between, I just use the slide caliper, I got about 150 thousandths. So that is about perfect. 152, 153 thousandths. So now right here where this is located, this is the perfect spot. So most torque converters, everybody has a little bit different opinion on what perfect is, I guess. But most converter companies say in between 125 thousandths and 187 thousandths. Uh, some turbo cars, I run a little bit looser than that because I know it's going to push and it's a little harder on the, on the, when it's on the trans brake. But um, somewhere in that range. So we're like right perfect in the range where it needs to be. So this is me dropping the light all over the place. But So this is perfect. So now one of the things that is 
Okay, so one of the things you have to be very careful of, now if this space, if we push this all the way in and we measure this space, and this space was 250 thousandths. So then what you have to do is you have to say, okay, well, it's 200, I got a 250 thousandths gap where it goes to the flex plate and then all the way back into the converter. I want it to be 150 thousandths. So you do that math, 250 minus 150, that equals 100 thousandths. So you need a 100 thousandths spacer that's going to go in between the flex plate and the torque converter. So that's how you set your, your end plate. That's how you set your torque converter clearance. A lot of people get very confused. What they'll do is they'll push it to the, to the flex plate and then they'll measure it off and say, okay, well, I need it 125 or 150 thousandths. And so if it had 250 thousandths there, then what's going to happen, the torque converter is pushed too far forward. And so it's going to pull the converter out of the front pump of the transmission and out of the input shaft. And so sometimes, you know, when, when it does that, if it's too far forward, it, uh, usually it just doesn't work. The transmission doesn't move or either it barely moves because the front pump in the, uh, in the transmission is not working properly. So you always want to push it back. There again, push it back, measure it, see what this distance is. In this case, it's 150,000, so it's perfect. We're going to bolt it right to the flex plate. So again, if it was 250,000, so we would put a 100,000 spacer in between. All right, y'all got it? Very simple, very easy to do. That's the real down and dirty version of how to do your torque converter spacing. If you guys will like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See y'all next time. Go fast and get some wind lights.